Police are searching for the man they call the mastermind behind a multi-million dollar drug ring. As 10TV's Maureen Kosat tells us, he's part of a gang police say very well known to Columbus authorities. She joins us live from the short north with new information on today's bust. Maureen. Now, Kristen, the U.S. Attorney's Office says today it rounded up 21 members of the Short North Posse. You know, investigators say a lot of the people they went after today don't even live in this neighborhood. They say they were recruited by the gang to take part in that drug distribution ring that crossed state lines. Investigators are going after 21 accused members of the Short North Posse who they say operated a multi-million dollar drug enterprise. The idea here is, is to cut off the head, and we believe we've done that. Investigators say the newest members of the gang turned Columbus into a drug distribution hub, trafficking cocaine, prescription pills, crack, and marijuana to cities as far away as Portsmouth and Youngstown and across the border into West Virginia. It's an enterprise. It's not just some street gang anymore. I mean, it's an organized enterprise. Police took down 46 original members of the Short North Posse back in March of 1995 for gun violence and drugs. Police say the gang has evolved and grown tentacles. And they've just grown up. They've grown out of the, you're going to shoot a guy because he's wearing blood red and they're going, I'm going to shoot a guy because of the bottom dollar. The U.S. attorney says Germonte Fletcher, who's still on the run, is an original Short North Posse member who helped mastermind the lucrative distribution scheme. Defendants are accused of laundering nearly a million dollars worth of cash and chips at the Hollywood Casino. Columbus's chief of police says officers have taken down this gain several times before. Years ago when the Short North Posse was a menace to that particular area, we went after them and we attacked them and we put them away. Police have busted up the gain at least three times in the past 18 years and say today's arrests are only the beginning. Now, this is only phase one of that sting operation. The U.S. Attorney's Office wouldn't elaborate on that. However, investigators did say that members of the gang are suspected of using threats and acts of violence against anyone suspected of shorting the gain of drugs or money. Live in the short north, Maureen Kosat, 10TV News.